kind of a crazy, I think it's been like a week and a half, frankly, since the last time I posted. And I couldn't believe it because I was chugging, man. I was getting stuff done and I was posting and I was like, do, 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 do. And I remember one of the last posts I made was um, to tell you that I had enrolled in a captain's class. Okay, so D to D, here I go. I off to the captain's class. I get dad, we go, we're enrolled together. Dad knows all this stuff. He did a lot of sailing. Remember, he's the salty one. And I'm absolutely not. If you know the movie Clueless and the girl that's just like goes to law school and like, what? Like, it's hard. Um, so I kind of go bebopping into this uh, captain's class for the 100 ton. And it's exactly that. Okay. I mean, first you have to do those morning, hello, good morning, my first day introductions. And I'm not one, I don't, I don't like not just blurt it out. So I'm like, really, I don't have much experience except my dad's sailboat. And, and that was mostly just sunbathing going, you know, look at me, I'm in a bikini and I'm on the, the sailboat. Like I've been so honest about that because that is the truth. Like I can't stand, I can't stand bullshit. I just, I can't stand being anything, but that is the truth. So you can, you can call me all kinds of names. You can say, what a bimbo, she's this, she's that. You can say whatever you want. But no one will believe you if you don't, if, if you say she's anything but candid. So candor is my favorite word, one of them. Anyway, so okay, we'll be bopping into this class and like, yeah, we got the sailboat where we're fitting. And I'm just trying to be low key. And these guys are in there, like some of them are in there for their 200 ton. Some of them are like work on dredges and tugboats. And I think it's totally cool. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. So it's really neat. But definitely the first day, the first Monday, first of all, I didn't sleep because Maybe this is TMI, I don't know, but on like Thursday, my mother-in-law was put on hospice and she's really cool. And then my husband was going to see her on Saturday night and she was in a hospice program. So it's like a, like a house, a hospice house. So he didn't really know how to get in there and he didn't know where his phone was and he thought he left his phone at the gas station. So he turned around and he drove back to the gas station, but it's like three o'clock in the morning uh, because we weren't sure, you know, when things were going to get bad. It's like three o'clock in the morning. I get a phone call from him that says, I fell asleep at the wheel. I ran off the road. I ran through the woods and I hit a tree. And I'm thinking, you're talking. Am I dreaming? Because it's late and I was asleep. No, he wasn't. He absolutely ate a tree with the truck. Um, he is okay, except for a bump on his head. So I'm glad for that. And then the next day he was able to see her and then the following day she passed away and then the following day I started this class and I should have you know retrospectively I should have been like I need to take a I need to take I need to reschedule for for April but um I don't know I my husband likes to be left alone it just seemed like it was a good time for me to sort of get out of the way he's very sad this is not really a happy time. And so it gives him the, I don't know, the distance that he needs. Heck, I don't know. But anyway, so, but I digress. Started class on Monday. We start with rules of the road and five notebooks, course books, stuff. And they start talking and I feel like somebody is speaking a foreign language. And I have to stop and ask because I don't know. And if I keep moving and I keep letting it go, um, but I think now I'm, I'm, I am tired. I am, um, a little less overwhelmed. I've been studying a lot. Uh, my dad and I study for breakfast every morning before we go. We study, um, at night we started charting, which I really love. I love charts. I've talked about this before. I just love the way maps and charts put there. Um, I just love how they look and I don't, I don't understand. I think it's just kind of the explorer in me just really, really likes, um, charts and drinking coffee with charts. So now that we're charting, uh, I think I need to take a cup of coffee and just sort of step back and took a practice test. I still missed five out of 25 of the rules of the roads and the signals and lights, but I thought, Hey, that's not bad. Cause the first practice test I took, I lost. I missed almost every single one of them because I, I didn't I didn't know but now I'm starting to diagram with little boats and um, understanding conceptually the, the rules of the road like 
and how they how they apply to driving because it's easier to memorize if I can relate it. So like just putting it all together, I think I'm starting to do it. The the memorizing the signals, like the 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 low visibility signals, that's definitely tough because it it's kind of a lot. You know, you have international, you have inland, and you have different sizes and different lights at night mean different things and just trying to remember all that and not just memorize it to pass the test but memorize it in that this is something I really really want to do it's on my life list and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to do this so I'm doing it I'm actually studying which trust me for me if you you know me if you guys know me you know oh shit she's actually studying so this is good so meanwhile yesterday uh after Everything happened with my husband and then my mother-in-law. Then I came home. Then I came to the hotel. I started classes. I have not been able to follow up on Bob. And everybody knows Bob is Bob is the boat. We we just have, I just call Bob Bob until we figure out which name Bob. But so the last time I posted, a couple of things I said. Hey, we ordered the engine, so we're really excited about that. The engine has arrived. So yippee! Um, I went by the boat yesterday and I took some video of some of the things that were there and and some of the things that I had been, you know, talking about that needed to be repaired. There was a interior bulkhead wall inside the closet that had rotted out and that is now repaired. So, yay, the Bob Stay chain plate, that was another big thing. The bolts had been bent and that has been repaired. So, I'm very glad about that. The prop shaft um, housing or casing, you guys would probably be able to help me understand that better, but it's basically a housing unit that goes around the prop. It had been, it it was loose and it, I won't say it was loose, but I think it was corroded. So it got rebedded, repaired, and the, and the shaft put back on, especially now that we have the engine that matches the shaft because all of that had to be upgraded and multiplied. Um, and, and modified for the new engine. Because remember, we went from the 60 horsepower Ford Lehman, Ford Lehman Pugo to an 80 horsepower Yanmar diesel. Both are diesel. So uh, we didn't put the new shaft in until we could make sure that it was going to work. But Clint assures me that it's going to work. Um, and they should be working on installing the new engine and... Also, so from the week before that, the episode before that, we had the one and only, could never find another Howdy Bailey. So Howdy Bailey is um, working on the bow sprint and the bow pulpit platform. Couple of things. I know I had posted previously and none of you salty dogs ever got on there and was like, hey, you know that beam that you have that weighs like a ton that was you know, a large portion of a center cut of a, a white oak. Okay. No, and we all said, Hey, that may not be, that may work. I took it to Howdy and Howdy was like, Hey, no, I don't think this is a good idea. We're going to do a laminate. So if you had seen my videos before and you shook your head and you went, rah, 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 we should do a laminate. You were right. I still liked the piece of wood, but I take, I take direction well. And so Howdy did a, a laminate. Uh, and it's primered and I believe it's painted now. But then Howdy came to me and he was like, so uh, what do you want to do about this platform? Because, you know, it's like six feet long and it's teak. And I have video of it um, coming off the boat and I have video of dropping it dropping it off. But Howdy recommended that we go with a, a marine plastic called Starbird. So he's actually making a new platform for the pulpit. And that's going to go on top of the sprit and it's going to replace the old teak platform, which I know some traditionalists are going to give me grief about it because it does take away from the aesthetics in terms of teak. But the boat has plenty of teak and I think the, cause, and it's going to be white. So I think that white um, coming out, that long white bow sprint, I think will look stately and elegant. And if we actually end up naming this boat Bob, <laughs> we're going to need something stately and elegant to sort of negate the hilariousness of having a boat named Bob. You really, you could take that in so many different directions, which is why I love Bob, right? I've said this from the beginning. I love Bob. Uh, 
Okay, so, um, great. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to be getting a call from Howdy Anytime telling me that the bow pulpit, the platform, and the bow sprit are ready to be installed now that the chain plate, the, um, that the bob stay chain plate is installed, we're good to go there. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and then the, the last few things to repair are going to be the navigation lights need to go on the bow pulpit and the new sails need to come on. And I'm not going to get into, um, what I'm doing with the sails in this video, because first of all, it's, it's, in my opinion, and I'm absolutely a nerd and I know this, this is going to be so, so cute that I don't want to quickly go through it. I want to show you, I want to explain to you what I, what we did and why we did it. And dad and I were both 100% bring in sort of mom, um, onto the sale and just, uh, I have just a whole story to tell about our sale decor, I guess is the best way I can say it, the decoration for the sale. Um, so stay tuned for that. And, and if you see it, you know, sale decoration on the heading of, of a video and you want, you want maybe a tearjerker, maybe a, a good little laugh, um, or maybe just a reason to shake your head and call me ridiculous, but you know, whatever, watch that video. It will, it will mean a lot. And I'm going to, I'm going to savor this aspect of this channel, um, for that particular video. And I just, I, I think it's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, okay, so there's some video I have. I did take some stuff for the from the last couple of days. I did go down and see Bob yesterday after class, and then I caught up on some much needed sleep. So I wish me luck. If you have any advice or questions or input or anything, please you know reach out on on um, on YouTube. I don't have a chance. I don't have like a Facebook page or anything yet for saddles and sales. I am writing an article for. A magazine for the life of me I can't remember but I will post that link once it's done um, and I guess that's it so between writing the article and and some of the family stuff that's going on and the total truck just hey, I'm Mike I'm working on this piece of bulkhead over here I needed to get ripped out making, oh, a, wow. jig. making a jig so I'm we can in there and put see. some new wood in oh that's cool you're actually making a whole little frame yep Wow Cool. Is that the only space it needs to have done, or is it going to be all of it? I had this one already cut out. This is the lower part. We found out this needed to be done, so we took it all out. Resealed your uh, deck fittings, too. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. Look at, there's a, there's a man in your closet. Look how, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> the next day. So, here's that bulkhead wall that needed to be replaced. And the deck fittings. Or no, doesn't look like there's deck fittings there. He said something about it leaking right there at that piece of wood. And that makes me wonder if the, where it is leaking. Well, everybody, as you can see, the bow sprint chain plate is back in and it looks pretty good. So that's really exciting. Looks like they cocked up underneath it. Looks like they're creating a new they're doing something getting ready lots of wires and maybe that's the slide they use to get the old engine out and then down in the bilge this is the engine room bilge there's rocks and bricks and all kinds of weird shit and you guys think that these rocks and bricks were used to hold up the uh, the old muffler, which has now been replaced. So we are making progress. Up next is Howdy Bailey, Larry, and all about bow sprints. This dude, do you, you, everyone like knows you. I didn't know that. 
This is the gonna be the bow sprint. <laughs> what do you mean gonna be? It is. It the bow is the bow sprint. It is. The bow it is sprint. the bow sprint. <laughs> do you see? The, I like. I love it. Okay, so two by eight laminate. Mm -hmm. You're the bow sprint guy, Larry. I am. I am. You are now. How many have you done? Uh, I probably lost count. That many, huh? Most, mostly metal. Mostly metal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how come we're not? But. but I got a picture of one of the wooden ones he did. Oh, okay. So I have a question, and I think this is good for trans world people who are trying to do this kind of project. We're thinking about doing a polymer base, right? And we have stainless steel, those saddles, right? That's what I call them. We're going to do those in metal. So why are, why the wood bow sprint? Because it's something I said, or is it something I said? <laughs> Well, you only have a couple of choices. You got wood or you got uh, aluminum. Okay. But wood's good? We're going to be okay? Only for the life of the boat. Oh, okay. Sounds good for me. All right. Says the great Howdy and Larry. What's your, what's your, your Larry, what's your last name? Foster. Foster. Larry Foster. How long have you been doing this? <laughs> uh, hey, 40 years, 30 years. Yeah, we've been together over 26 we've been together years. Over, we've, been, we've been together over 30 years. Really? Yeah. 1992. And this is what you guys do? Just build boats? Build boats. Wow. Can I just come up here? I just want to learn. I just want to swab the decks and just watch and learn. Can I? Can well, I just... you, you got a boat to swab the decks and watch. Uh, yeah, but I don't swab those decks. <laughs> it's it's not in the water yet. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a teak. It is teak. So, so that's going to be one of the, one of the, sorry. And one of the things I have to think about is, um, redoing the teak. Mm -hmm. Do we pull up the teak and replace the core? I have a friend, oh, okay. I, I have a friend who just got done doing it on the same boat and he really? pulled it up and replaced it with Kusa. Did he? he did. The top? Uh -huh. He did. He just finished. So my dad's like, let's sail it to Guatemala and get it done there. there that's what dad says to do. And as dad is, Apparently smarter than I thought, which who knew? <laughs> Dad's smarter than I thought. So once we get the water, the boat in the water, I'd like to bring it here and have you raise those stanchions. To Mike's not raising them. Why well, hadn't no, no? He's only doing the bow pulpit. Oh, only the bow pulpit. After I found you, I was like, I'll just bring it here. If I'd have known, howdy, had I known what I know now, then. You haven't seen anything finished yet. I just, I've it's seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough. Did you go on the website? I did. did you? I totally stalked you. Totally. I confess. Uh, I know. Did you see my YouTube channel? <laughs> you didn't see our video on YouTube? No. Huh? I'll send you the link. Do Okay. I will. Do that. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I just, I just want people to see what we're, we're doing and. I need you. I need your dad's email address. Okay. Uh, when you get a chance. 